Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Father, for making him and the family choosing. I want to thank God for me and my family crossing over to this year, 2020. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother David Okocha, and I live here at Ijesha, and I joined choosing in 2007. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for what God had did for me early this year. Just two Tuesdays ago, I slept. I slept and I wake up. One part of my head and face look as if it's going to be paralyzed. So when I touched my head, I was feeling somehow with my face. Only head and the face here. So I don't know what was happening. I prayed and I canceled it. Immediately, this thing now shifted to my ear. Hmm. And inside my ear, it looked as if somebody was using a kind of maybe pin to choke me inside the ear. So I was not comfortable. I was praying. And I prayed. This thing lasted for two days. But that two days looked as if it lasted for over a year hmm. for me. The way it was so painful. So when I wake up the following two days later, being on Tuesday like this, I told God, you have crossed me and my family over to this year, 2020. And when I, I know you crossed me over, I did not cross over with sickness and diseases. So I don't know where this is coming from. And I'm going to this uh, Tuesday revival. I say, Father, as I leave my house with this sickness, I'm not going back home with that sickness. So I left home, I came here. And that day, our daddy was not around. So the cassette was there. And he prayed for me. And I canceled the sickness. And I want to thank God from that day to today, that sickness has vanished away. Put a hands together unto this great God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I still want to thank God on behalf of my wife who has been traveling, going and coming. God has been preserving her, going and coming. So I want to say, God, thank you for all this that you have done and what you continue to do in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. And, uh, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Junction, I want to pray for our daddy Gio and the entire family. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all the chosen ones. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless. Shall we clap our hands in appreciation unto this great God of the chosen? The next testifier now. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say to him, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Godwin Nachetam Adipu. I joined Choosing 2007. My testimony goes like this. I thank God for ushering my family and myself and the Choosing was including our GO to 2020 in Jesus' name. Amen. My second testimony is two years ago, the place I was living, the whole yard fought me. One woman rose up, said over her dead body, I will not continue to live in that place. I live number 30 Araromi Street, Ejibo. So, we fought, they fought me spiritually, physically. We went to police station severally. I have given this testimony here before. I was surprised the first January she packed away from that place. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Set that testimony. Though I re just remember it now, I didn't register it there. On Sunday, I decided not to come to church on Sunday because the way my body system was interpreting to me, I didn't know that it was typhoid and malaria for one day. 
my wife urged me to go. Then when I came here, in fact, God ruled that typhoid malaria away. Thank you, God of the fact, chosen. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for my G.O., heaven at last, and his family. Amen. The chosen ones, heaven at last, and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to also appreciate this God by clapping our hands unto him. Remember, take note of this correction. Our daddy said, I'm talking of our brother that testified now, said that she wanted to absent himself from the church service because of the way his body was doing unto him. Eventually, it was typhoid fever and malaria parasite. Nothing, make up your mind that this year, 2020, nothing will make you to absent yourself from any church activity. Our geo has opened our eyes severally to the tricks of the devil. One of the days he told us that if the devil finds out that because of typhoid fever and malaria parasite, we don't attend to church, we will control to bring it so that we will not go to church. But we look at our brother's testimony as he came to church. Was the sickness road away or not? I'm asking the church. Forward ever, backward never. Shall we clap our hands unto God of the choosing? The next testifier now. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Alice. Sister Alice Nkechinere Ogwebu. I live at Ijesha here. I started choosing 2003. I thank God I am a choosing. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to testify concerning an evil dream which I had. On that program, only God can do this. When I came, I saw myself in that dream running. Running inside the bush, inside the forest. That place was just, left and right was full of trees. I was running. And on the way, I saw an animal standing by my, just in my front. And I started going back. So that is how I started going back. In that bush, I started declaring, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. And that is how I woke up from that dream. And I saw, I felt, you know, a sensation that I have weakness and uh, sick. I started having some sign of kata. I managed and prepared because it's a program day 26th. I have to come. When I came, uh, that the Geo mentioned that case, that evil dream. He mentioned it. I can he cancelled it, and before then, I cancelled it when I wake up. But when he I came, he also prayed on that evil dream. He prayed on kata. He prayed on cough. So all the affliction has rolled away now. I'm no more feeling that sickness. I want us to clap our hands on to this God of the choosing. Thank Should you, they, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I also want to testify on how God of choosing is directing my children who are, God has given them um, this scholarship and they are going and they are, it's very effective. And one is in 500 level, his final year, and the second one in 200 level. This God of choosing has led them safely to school without any hitch. They have Johnny Mercy. In their going and coming, I want to glorify this God what He has done, and He is following them up in all their careers. May Thank His name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to assure us that here is a solution ground, and our pastor has always instructed us to be here on every service, just as our moderator has said. Because if I had not been here, following that weakness, I would say. I cannot go. But God of choosing mentioned my case on that day. Every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, even Saturday, we should not miss programs. And it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for that the Jew, this God that have called you, will not forsake you. He will always uphold you. He will never experience any distraction. 
God of choosing will follow you to the end. Even in this year, all the programs line up. He will answer us one by one in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our mommy. God will strengthen her. Following her daddy is not easy. But the strength will be given to her. God will answer her, even her children in Jesus' name. Amen. All choosing worldwide. I want to pray heaven at last for every one of us, our family members, heaven at last. Amen. And God will answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Put our hands together unto this God of the chosen. Thank you, Jesus. The next testifier. Choosing prayers, the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Paul Nwebony. I reside at Salolo, Alabado, Lagos. I joined Choose in 2005. I thank God for genuine salvation of my souls. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. I thank Him for crossing me from 219 to 220. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, two, about two years ago, I traveled down home, southeast, to memorial program of my late dad. After the program, when I came back Lagos, I started having pains in my right leg. I've been a battle trying to treat the, the leg. I now get also that lasted since then. This program, all God can do it. I only attend 25th because of the duty. After the program, this God of choosing, he show his mighty power, but the leg pains and the ulcer is no more. Clap your hands unto God of choosing. I thank him. I appreciate him. I promise to be in his custody to serve him and the rest of my life. I pray for that the Jew, even at last, my family and choosing worldwide, even at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to clap our hands in appreciation to this great God of the choosing. Remember, if you are there or you are just coming now, you have testimonies to share with us quickly. Go to the left hand side of the pulpit. I made the interview was they are seated, they're waiting for you. They'll give you a slot to testify. The next testifier now. Shushin, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Happiness Morgan. Can you put the mic very, very adjacent to your mouth? My name is Happiness Morgan. I joined, I joined Shushin in the year. 2014. I am talking this and my my <laughs> I worship in Ecuador here. And my house address is uh, Ecuador. Brethren, I am thanking this great God for his protection over me and my family. Thank you, Father. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. This great God has been protecting me in a very wonderful way. I do travel far and near. He will protect me. If he has been protecting me even in the as as motor accident, in a car accident, different different ways. Even when the enemy strike, he will still start for me. So I am thanking him for his protection. Thank you, Jesus. I am still thanking this great God. There was a night, 2019, there was one midnight. I had sharp pain in my womb. Very sharp pain I have never experienced in my life. When the thing started, I was thinking it is just, an, it is just a minor something. But at a point, I got to know that something is wrong somewhere. So, when the pain was so severe, I now shouted, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. 
You info powers. You demolic powers. Satanic powers operate inside this my womb. Wanted to take my life. Who are you? Immediately I shouted. I said, where is the God of my pastor power? Before I could know it, this shouting just stopped. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. As the pain stopped, it was later God even opened my eye. Show me who the person that did that. Is. But I thank God for everything you have done. Thirdly, there was one day I was coming to work. One Wednesday like that. So, on getting to this road, Okada fell break from the other side of the road. The Okada, as, the, the Okada just crossed the road, it, coming directly towards me. The way the Okada came, the Okada just came in form of, I see, want to cross me. But immediately the Okada shouted, Jesus! It's as if something I jacked the Okada up. The Okada immediately jumped up and suspended in the air while the rider was still on top. And I jumped out from that very position. I said, I started thanking God of choosing, thank you. God, people fool on the road. They were looking at me and my, me and that Okada that day. People were shouting. People were shouting. It was not an easy thing. But this great God that day stood by me and saved my life. Thank you, so Father. Him for every good thing he has done in my life and the life of all the chosen ones in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, why I'm thanking this God? I, if I stand there to begin to mention what he has done for me in my life, this church will not close today. He has been doing so many things. He has been doing so many things, wonderful, wonderful things in my life that some of the things he's doing for me. If I open my and tell people, you will say, can such a thing, can such a miracle happen in the life of people? But the wonderful things this great God has been doing for me in my life is so great. So I thank God. I give him all the glory. I give him all the honor. I give him all the adoration. I give him all the praises. May his name and his name alone be highly exalted forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my daddy. May the good God that I have called him in this end time continue to raise him up. Amen. He will never allow him to come down. Whatever the enemies plan against him, they will never succeed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray heaven at last for him and his family. I pray for me and my family, heaven at last. I pray for the whole choosing one wild, heaven at last. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My sister, are you a worker? Yes, sir. Which department? Security and the shared department. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. The next testifier. Uh, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, my name is Brother Raphael Sundays, okay. Um, I joined Choosing in 2006. And um, this is my testimony. In the year 2009, I lost my job. And I came here believing God that I will get another job. And um, when the GO mentioned that we should write seven things we need, I wrote down my, my request. After that, he now said, if there's something that is bigger than what you think you can do for yourself, something bigger, something bigger than your imagination, that is not even within what you think you, you can do on your own, that we should put that one down. And I wrote again that I want to become a lawyer. The reason was that when I wrote my first jam, I put law, but I didn't get it. So I read the management course before that time. And I was working in the bank. The testimony is this. I got another job as I prayed. 
in that 2009. In 2013, I was given admission to study law from the very first year, not even from direct entrance, somebody who has a first degree. I finished, I went to the law school, and six weeks ago, November, I was called to the bar. Power! Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. You see, you see, you see sometimes when you come here, the kind of testimonies, testimonies you have, you said, Ah, God, is it possible for me to have that kind of testimony? I am testifying, it is true. There's no, nobody psyched me up to come and say this. It, has, it is true. Whatever any person who came here, God will do it. Amen. And it is my prayer that God will continue to sustain the GO and um, will give him good health and this ministry will continue to prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. You. Are you a worker? Uh, no. I, for a long time I was transferred out of Lagos. I just came back. And uh, join yeah. us 2006. Yes. You need to join a department. We have even legal department in the church. Okay. So you can join the legal department or any other department that God will reveal to you. Okay. Thank be you. committed and much more miracle will be done for you in Jesus name. Amen. Shall we clap our hands Amen. unto God of the choosing. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you put my closer your mouth, please? I joined this great commission in 2011 from the headquarter, MCC Road, Abba. And I'm very strong and bold and proud to say I'm a choosing. Thank you, Father. And I want to testify in line of what my Jew always says that life is not by struggle. Hmm. And before I joined this great commission, I've been a Christian. But I discovered that uh, there's a difference between the choosing church and other ministry. I've been. Thank you, Father. Even as a, as a student leader, as a Christian dean, my life is full of limitations. When I say limitation, limitation that I can't even explain. And at times, and I wonder whether I'm still with God. During my school days, I will study. I will teach others. I'll prepare for class. But immediately I get to the exam hall, it looks as, as if a air will be blown upon my brain and my memory will be warped out. Hmm. I can't remember anything. I keep struggling. At times I'll see for an exam, my name will be missing. The exams will be missing. A lot of things. That was how I struggled and struggled and until I joined this ministry. And before then, I've been tending to proceed for my study in abroad. All those whys is story upon story, upon story, upon story. At times, like, I gave up until I joined this chosen ministry. And I decided, my friend challenged me. One of my friends called and said, why is it that you tell others what to do and they advance? And you are still behind here. So why can't you end as elusive as I was awakening? And I challenged the God of choosing. And I went for my school transcripts, sent everything. And you see, the reason why I'm saying it, it might sound so easy, but he that wears the shoes knows where it pinches. The way it went, I know is a miracle. Hmm limitation gone 
even when I allow the finance, the amount runs in millions. In millions. Even when I run short of cash, someone who promised to finish the payment, like wanted to, you know, to abandon me. One of the service I was there, and a GO minister, and a key in that world. He made work coming up from that Sunday service. I called the person. He said, send your account. And I know that it's a mirror. It has not happened before. Thank you, Father. Right now, in summary, that mission, things, this is the same thing I've been struggling for over years. Because I came in contact G.O. And his word came to pass. Now I have my visa. Now the journey has made smooth. Anytime from now, not only me, but I've been going with my family. Hey! So, oh my God. Thank you, Father. So I, too, to my knowledge, that is only God can do this. Because these things, you know, when God or does something, he might lose to you, man. It's common. It's not common. It is not common. It is not common. Something in me tells me that it is because we are choosing. And I knew. And that was why I said I must come and share this today. That in 20 years, I left school in 1999 as a young boy. Since 1999, I have been struggling with the same thing. Imagine what God of Jesus did. That yoke was broken. And the same God will do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Then last, the last Sunday on 29. Before uh, Moody program, I wasn't strong, but I, I can remember that as a dream. I, I I I saw myself in a terrible dream, but I can't remember. But I wake up, my body changed. I've been having this issue of typhoid malaria, even though I'm in medical profession. But that morning I knew that this one that something went wrong spiritually. I was so down. I was feeling down. But immediately, G.O. prayed. Immediately, he says the word. I command that typhoid fever, malaria parasite to go. Immediately, from my head to my toes. Stand. Thank you, God of the chosen. Since that 29 until now, I'm strong. Amen. Thank you, Father. Only God of choosing can do this. I want glory to Him for breaking the yoke of limitation. When I say limitation, my own limitation, no, no, born. Mm. I remember. That was a project I did. I have to defend it or buffer me at University Hospital. But then when I get there the next day, my supervisor saw me and he said, Is it you? And they were looking at, he said, No, when I saw you, I discovered it's like you're young, but something went wrong. And my project topic was brought. And they looked at it and said, the original and photocopy were different things, and they were showing me. I don't know the mystery beside that. When you see the photocopy and the original, it's different. And they were asking, How come this happened? I said, I don't know. But in me, I know that it's the forces of darkness. When you see original signed by my professor, and they were like, Professor Kazinju cannot do such thing. Does it mean that he did? I say I don't know. How can photocopy and original are not the same? The same work, sign and they look at me, they shoot their head. 
So when I say limitation, limitation, I know what I'm saying. Hmm. But right now, I can be bold and say limitation is no more. Hey. Clap your hands on to God. Don't choose anywhere you are. Thank you, Jesus. I, I want to make it for you to know. When I say limitation, in 2006, my transcript was sent to um, International Education Research Foundation in California. I paid the required amount, and they sent my transcript to Nigeria. Through Korea, it disappeared. Hmm. Because I just want to know the meaning of limitation. Forces followed me as a Christian. I encountered God as a young person. But God of choosing. Kind. God of choosing. God of choosing. He removed his spell. You know, I'm a young man that people will look at you when you preach. They say something is wrong with you. They will not believe you. They look and say something is wrong with you. I will teach others. Prepare for class. Pray for them. And they will rejoice. And after exam, they will be crying. They didn't write well because I was a leader in school. I will pray for them. But when the result will come up, my name won't even appear. They will pass. Hmm. So when I come for um, campus fellowship, they won't come. They say, ah, they don't understand me. They don't, I say, can you be praying for others, teaching us, and that's so, I should go and sort myself out. I was wearing this reproach for years, years, years. Hmm. Because of choosing. Oh, Rabba Sutaka. Merimu Sutura Babosh. Le Hayamana Hanto. Munkutura Rosh. Please permit me. When I say limitation, I want you to know there's a difference between other church and Lord choosing. Yeah. Because I want to encourage us. We have churches, but Lord choosing is the church of God. Kai. Oh my God. Put your hands together to this God or choose anywhere you are. Thank you, Father. I want you to understand. Let's hear him now. Because I know there are so many people in my shoes. I know hand is upon me. I know. I know. But at times, this reproach has been causing me to hide. It doesn't take me two or five minutes to minister salvation. And people will give their life to Christ. I'm saying to the glory of God. But because of these reproaches, limit when I say limitation, I think those people they will say no, they always turn their back for me. I think when you want to minister, they start murmuring because they know the little thing they don't. I think they will tell me, say, Look, I don't even pray the way you pray, but they are better than you. So, why are you talking? Hmm. So, these things have constituted. Hey, let us say back. I weep, I cry. In my, those days in a dream, I would dream, I would see myself, a hand will bring out a loaf of bread and a ton dirty money. Before I know it, that ton dirty money, I'll be putting it in a bread, I'll be eating it. Hi. I will see myself in an old wretched car. Even as a Christian, keep asking God, Christian, I was baptized in Holy Ghost. I told you, I will be God. Why? 
in 2011, one of the chosen members in our bar, he came to my office. I'm a medical scientist. Okay. He came and he said, You're a Christian. You, you know, I called him and I said, This Moody program, how do people, how does, does it normally do? He said, Well, he explained. I said, But I want to sow a seed. Uh, he's okay, I can sow. But he said that his father died that are going for better than when he come back. And I put some money in the envelope. I saw a seat in my church and the Lord chosen the same day. That night I slept and I saw myself in the midst of a Moody program. God. In the Moody program and the security men were there I stood up, I said, I want to go and see it. They said, you can't see it. I said, no, I must see him. So there was a commotion. And Gio saw, what is this? Who is this? I said, don't you know that I need deliverance? Hmm. He just smiled. He gave sign to them. To the people, securities. And I walked up. He said, what do you want? I said, I need deliverance. He beckoned on me. We moved to downstairs at the back. Before I started praying, I was rolling and rolling and rolling and opened my eyes and it was a dream. <laughs> Shall we go back and answer to God that choosing now? Kai. Thank you, Father. And I said, this is a mystery. How can I tell him that I have a deliverance? Do I believe in Lord chosen? So when they came back, I said, let me go and see my friend. That's my friend who was a pharmacy. I think the, he told me he was the one financing with the program in Abba. So we are going to good friend. He came and he gave me one of the testimony magazines. He said, you should go and read it. I said, look at it. I smile. And I came to my office. And I gave it to my wife. She looked at it. He said, these chosen people are dying this miracle now. Wow. She started laughing. And when my wife was laughing, he just stopped. He said, but God, if this testimony is of truth and there is God in a chosen, may this one baby to become true. <laughs> and that time, I was the one that little become my grandfather was a strong man and a lot of things was happening so he would deliver the wives almost seven wives but none of the children stayed so they brought an odara tree and do some incantation and planted it and said as long as the odara tree will be rising that no child every child will live and that was where the children started so when I repented over 20 years ago, I was the one that moved that that tree must be cut off. The elders, they gang up again. They say, look, I should take the responsibility. I say, I will take the responsibility. And we prayed. The tree was cut down. And a lot of things, a lot of things was happening to me. And they told me that you will never have a male child. So when I married, my second baby was supposed to be a boy. And when she was delivered, it was a boy, she was a girl. We knew that something went wrong. <laughs> so because of the so we'll be believing God for a baby girl, a baby boy. And people prophesy they will call you on phone and say you will never that thing you have is baby girl. So my wife said it in order to challenge the God of choosing. <laughs> and he said, God, make it to be two, not one. She was pregnant for one. Because this testimony shook the whole of our bar at the headquarter, MCC. So immediately my wife said it, she kept one. In the morning, we wake up in the morning after our prayer, she tapped me. She just do a sign that she washed her legs. The legs have swallowed. The tummy increased. He was <laughs> like, what is this? And, and, and we said... Hey. Let's hear him, please. And 
we said it's like because of that thing you said she said maybe so because we are afraid because people are John, they will call themselves and introduce themselves as a prophet as they, even though you claim to be a Christian that you will never have a child that you should come and do you know a lot of things so we said well we might not go back for scanning again they let just wait but the prayer job was much we decided to win for another scanning. And they were like, ah, it's too old. It's too how, how manage? We, we looked at ourselves. I wouldn't say anything. But my wife said, you know, God will choose what we say when it becomes two boys, so two boys, two boys. We said we do, you do not want to check for sex. We don't want to know about the sex. At the door of delivering, then my wife, when my wife has seen the sign, she started attending the Thursday deliverance and Tuesdays. So she bought the apron at the delivering room. She tied. The nurse was said, "Remove this rag." He said, "No, don't call this a rag. I must tie it." So when they were struggling with it, I came and said, "You should leave her." I said, "Okay." Within ten minutes, two of them came out. Oh my God. Then when I say came out without tear, no tear, they just came like a woman. woman. The first one came out within two to three days. Ah, they, everybody were jubilating. Even in my hand, I said, God, please, now let it be boys now, please. I was begging on God. They saw God celebrate. I said, wait, I will celebrate. With my ears, I was all listening. And one of them said, ah, these two boys, I jumped up. Hey, I jumped up. Kai, I ain't a maybe a more. I ain't a charge. I work a more. I ain't a maybe a more. Two by natural. I work a more. Oh, I ain't a charge. Oh, I naturaja, two bany naturaja, the god of Moka, called the god of Juzi, called the god of Moka, that is on I naturaja, Toraja, naturaja, 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 naturaja. Amen. Something has happened in this generation. Jumped off. Kai. Even to me, it was like a dream. I was, I don't know what to say again. I was moving from house to house. Say, come on, you people should come and see. It was, I called my parents, called the people in the village, say it's not possible. I can never have a male child. Oh. They said it's not possible. I, they should ask me where I got that child. I said, Well, it has happened. Whether you believe it or not, that I have found a God, I have seen a God. No man can stand this God. I have proved it. And we have seen this testimony made a lot of chosen people, a lot of people that were not chosen then to join the Lord chosen in headquarters in Abba MCC. Clap your hands unto God. Let's give him a standing ovation. Give him a standing ovation. He deserves a standing ovation. Kai. This is indeed another level altogether. Thank you, Father. Hmm. Shall we be seated now? So, there was a conspiracy against me. They say they are calling me at the village that they don't understand what I'm saying. And these things was around October. That was in 2011, November. They say where the case was shadowed on December. 
my parents, you were very angry. When I say angry, in fact, they reported me to all the priests they knew. Because when I wedded, it was an Ashbik shrub that wedded me in Anglican communion in Abba. He took the influence and he wedded me. They reminded a lot of things they say it's not possible. That, it, that before they were set before that, I have to go to Anglican and dedicate that child. I say it's not, I say it's not done anywhere. So there was a conspiracy. My parents were reporting me everywhere. There was meeting against me. A lot of things were happening. But one day, a woman called me and said, come, 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 come. So I saw your dad. I said, where? She, she said, wait, wait, wait. He parked his car somewhere. And he was carrying a big Bible. I said, huh? He said, she said, 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 I should guess. I said, what? And I said, she, he was running to the Lord chosen with a big Bible. I said, my father. I said, well, I will go and find out. And I went to meet him. He called me. I said, come, 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 come. He said, he has seen the Lord chosen in Cabo. He has watched it. That that man is of God. Oh. He said, but I have watched his preaching. For him to be preaching like that, and people will still be coming. That means that man is of God. He, he said to me, that you can't be preaching that kind of preaching, and people are still coming, and there will be miracle. He said, but he believes everything the man is saying, no. But in one man, I won't keep with it. I'll go to one bottle. Go on and go. No, no, go on and get one bottle. At least now, one bottle, I'm waiting for you. I'm okay. At least, I said, man, at least, at least, only you see, Marie, boom, one bottle. Now, one bottle, the no king. This is in the sang on ango. No one called it. And in summary, my parents, they are workers in law choosing. <laughs> Oh, God of choosing. Hi. So, regarding to that case, to those people that were waiting for me to come back to crucify me, so when they learned that my father had joined the Lord choosing, everybody gave up. Mm -hmm. And that was how the matter was ended. Today, Today, I was trying to reverse back, and I knew, and I knew that the God of chosen live it forever. Kai. This God will remember you. Amen. Honestly, listen. What I passed through as a Christian, I saw evils not because I was sinning not because I was into immorality and adultery when I said I was a Christian but I was held bondage <laughs> by our sensual powers permit me to say I'm a member of African intercessor so my mentor then no Dr. Lukoyo most of these GOs I know them <laughs> I was a protocol in the midst. So, a lot of it does it didn't work. Kai. It didn't work. I'm sorry to say it. But the reason why I'm saying it because there is anointing. And there is also a greater anointing. Hmm. And Lord Jesus is where we find the greatest anointing. Some people they will tell you, uh, uh, the authors are everywhere. Yes, God is saying it everywhere. But this place is where God lives. It is for Lord choosing. God. That God goes for a weekly visitation of other churches. When I said GOs, I have met, I knew most of them. I, when I, I knew, you might not know me. But I, I knew what I'm saying. But God makes me to understand. That this church is for a reason. All these times of waiting, yoke of over 2,000 was broken last year. 
is not a mystery. It's not God can do this. Only God of choosing can do this. I want to encourage you, my brothers, my sister, stay put. I was persecuted. I was despised and mocked. Even before I went for you serving, my head told you, he was a man of God. He likes me. He said, true man. You know, something is wrong with you. But this time, let's feel you on how you will feel for NYC. I also feel for you. Because when they feel, my name will not come out. They will not see my name. So that I want you to know the level of limitations. So, choosing. Oh, God. Guys. Oh, my brother, my sister, whatever thing they have told you outside that is not possible, it is possible here. Amen. Remain put. Do not allow anyone to discourage you. The way God saw me, He seen you too. Amen. Honestly, your yoke will be broken. Amen. If God broke my yoke in the church, consider your own turn. Amen. The Lord bless my G.O. Amen. This man is a wonderful man. Hmm. I always see him in a dream. When I was doing my internship in Nauj, that was the fourth and a half crusade in the Newi. My friend who was in the other church, a watchman, he discouraged me. He said, don't go, don't go. I said, why? He said, I shouldn't go. And uh, he said a lot of things. I said, but you must tell me a reason. You can't tell me don't go. Now. I said, I said, closer, I said there's crowd everywhere. Anybody that lives in know that something happened. I said, this thing, he said, he was talking. I said, look, this thing is not reason. He said, he leave his church. I said, it's not reason. I said, if God is against him, he won't have crowd like this. Now, I told you, it's not, it's not possible. So you cannot have crowd if God is against you. So you can So I, I, I went. But I couldn't see him. But I was surprised he had a ministry. This one will come and say uh, that God ministered to me and say I should give my church to Lord Chosen. I was in my mind, does it mean that it wasn't God that called him? A lot of things. And I said in my mind, God, if this man is not of you, I know this church will not last. And behold, chosen celebrated 70 year by day. Clap your hands on to God of choosing. Glory. Thank you, Father. It's only God can do this. And I want to return glory to God. To this God of the chosen. And I want to say, as long as the heaven and the earth is not. My G.O. will always prosper. Amen. Spiritually. Amen. His families, his members will not fail him. Amen. He will be like the cedars of the Lebanon. His strength will not was cold. Amen. His seas will never dry. Amen. As he lit up his hands, there will be signs. Amen. And I pray for my G.O. That the word of his mind, his meditation in the heart, will bring healing to the people. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. His children will bring glory and joy to this generation. Amen. That his wife will be a woman above all women. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Heaven and us to everyone. Amen. Heaven and eyes to the Lord chosen member. Amen. Heaven and lost to me and my family. Amen. This testimony is sealed with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, guys. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heaven and lost. Before you go, I have many questions, but because of our time, let me ask you only two. As a medical scientist, at, a point, at what point in time in the pregnancy of your wife, did you discover that she was having only one child? Yes, of course. Did you go for scan? 
Yeah, I can't repeat. There was no sign. Because at the first time, there were normally wrong text. There was no evidence that she was pregnant for two. Okay. But immediately that night, when she made her altar, that God, if this thing is of God, may this one child to be true. That morning, everything, so even a blind man knew. Everybody in this, they were like, ah, that something is that this cannot be only a child. That something is so that, that your wife is deceased. The five month pregnancy was like a ball. He couldn't walk. Even at the time, my wife would look at her tummy and say, maybe it was that thing I said, though. Because her tummy is sealed somehow. So, when so, I. From your explanation of what happened after short prayer by your wife, that same night, God was choosing. Added. Yes, the legs swell, the tummy swell. The faces swells and it's, it don't need interpretation. Kai. I want to talk hands on to God or choosing. It don't need an interpretation. That was what I said that he that wears the shoe knows where he pitches. We knew the source of the miracle. Hmm. And we knew that it's not ordinary. That something supernatural happened. Hmm. And I knew God did that. In order to prove to my wife something, my wife had been a doubter. At times, you look at the miracles, you will be laughing. She laughs and say, "Well, at times, some of this is not the quicker hand for you, for you." You know, you always. But since then, oh, <clears throat> thank you, Lord, brethren. This type of testimony is it not good that it goes to NTA, AIT? This type of testimony. Coming from even a medical scientist himself. Hi. In a summary, this testimony, you can find the evidence in Abba. It was documented. When we are given the testimony, for that something strange that happened, that was when uh, Pastor Liberty, uh, Pastor Liberty Ahara was the, was the, you know, the state pastor. Yeah. Because something happened because during the testimony, people were an offering. Hmm. And they couldn't control the crowd. He was asking them to wait after the testimony. The people refused. Uh, you know, it was at that day in Abba, the council, Pastor Liberty Man talked about, I can remember, he said, from now henceforth, if someone is giving testimony and you have something to say, hold your money, do an offering, you can put it. Because the crowd, for over 35, 14 minutes, people were giving offering to king that testimony. Hmm. Clap your hands out to God of the choosing. Thank you, thank you. My final question: Which country are you people traveling to? It's in UK. United Kingdom. We have many branches in UK. Before you move, opposite here is a foreign mission office. Get the addresses of the branches we have in United Kingdom, and they begin to attend the one closer to you, and share the testimony also there. I don't know if you are going to be available on Thursday. I'll be around. If we're going to be available on Thursday and even solo to joy, we need to hear this testimony often and often. It's a hope we can do testimony. Uh, actually, I didn't plan to give it. But you see the way it works. Uh, I didn't plan to share this one. But the way it works, maybe that's the way God wanted me to refresh it. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you are blessed. I want us to appreciate this God for this great mystery of this generation. <clears throat> Brethren, something has happened in this generation. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. Brethren, my name is uh, John Okwa. I reside in Shagam, Ogu State. But I work in Lagos here. I want to thank the God of Choosing for making me a Choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God 
that uh, God made me a landlord of my own. Clap your hands in appreciation. Choose in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I said, I reside in Shagam, Ogu State. I live in a house 13 years. And in that 13 years, the God of choosing, before then, I joined choosing 2014, um, 2004. And since then, God has been keeping me and my salvation and sanctification. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, I live in a house 13 years. And in that 13 years, God of choosing bless me with six children. Three boys, three girls. Thank you, Father. Now, choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, in that, uh, the same street, God of choosing bless me with a land, a plot of a land in the same street. Immediately, the landlady and our neighbor, because that house is four flats. I'm living for the up. Immediately, they heard that I bought a land in the same street. The landlady became seriously furious angry. He said, how can he be like that? Why should it be for this man to buy land in the same street? Because that street, after that street, you reach the express that go to east. So, him and the, the, land, the tenant, uh, tenant that is living there, they rise up against, uh, against me and my family. They say that, the landlady land said, as far as he's alive, I will not leave that house. Because, because of the way God blesses me, I maintain the house, I take care of the house, the whole entire house. Even the outside the house, I floor it for them. I do well for them. Many things I did for that place. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why I come to thank God, after God blessed me with money, I bought the land in 2015. I built a house to enter in. They came with their different, different things. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, I want to advise you for something. If you are passing through one thing or the other. Number one, don't give up. Two, stay put. Number three is that trust the word of our geo. Hmm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as the battle is going on, sometimes, even we are living up, sometimes, snake, my children are sleeping. Exactly where they are sleeping, snake hang in my clothes. Uh -uh, early in the morning. Because I used to wake up early in the morning. I walk in a, a papa happy home here. I wake up early in the morning one day. To bring my cloth, I want to wear snake fall there. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. Do you know what happened? Tell us. That snake was very weak. I just use small stick, kill it. My wife said this. I said, Madam, don't worry. We are choosing. These people will not do us anything. The final of it is that last year, on 27, God blessed us with money. We finished our house. We packing on 27, 2019, December. Thank you, Father. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Without a scratch to my wife, to my children, even the particular day we are packing in, we are packing into my house because it's the same street. I just rented a small van because God blessed me with the property in my house. So I rented a small van that will be taking my load to my house. 
The attendant went and called the landlady. The landlady came with the boys. With the one head, four elderly men. When they came, the landlady put on trousers. He said, hey, Mr. Ukwa, today the whole Shagam will, will come. This and that. I said, uh-uh. My wife said, hey, daddy, you see it? I tell you, let us pack in the night. I said, no. The people that pack in the night are the people that are not choosing. Because some of them, they will hold, they will run away. Some of them, even to eat, it's not easy for them. I tell my wife, because we are choosing, we are going to pack in the afternoon, in the morning time. We are not hiding because God is with us. Good. And we, as they came, the elderly men, I took them inside the house because I tied the, the house for the woman. I showed them all what I have done. Those people said, this woman, you are very wicked. Mm -hmm. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as they told her, Madam, you are very wicked. We can't, it's not because of this man is a stranger. We will support evil. If we support evil, God will kill us. So. Mm -hmm. We don't want to support evil. Though. Allow this man to go his own because God is with him. So, we pack peacefully and I'm living in my own house now peacefully. By the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of the choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I'm thanking God. Because that yoke must break. Of last year, it was then that God blessed me with money. Because God allowed them to perform their enterprises. Because those tenants, they are very wicked. Some of you, if you know about Shagam. Shagam is a very terrible place. But in all, God of choosing is terrible than them. Thank you, Jesus. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For our Father in the Lord, heaven at last. Amen. And God will give him a celestial body, an angelic body. Amen. He will not weary. He will not weak. Amen. He will continue and all of us we meet in heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, if you are available on Thursday, we would like to hear it in a larger congregation again. Shall we clap our hands unto this great God of the choosing? Thank you, Father. Something great, superfluous, will happen in our life today. If you believe, we cannot hear a loud amen. After this testifier, we take our first offering in fellowship. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. By the grace of God, my name is Brother Iken Namaru. Brother who? From Brother who? Iken Namaru. I am from Angora. Thank you, Father. I joined the Lord choosing 2008. I thank God for making me a choosing. Thank you, Jesus. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. After our wedding 2018, the enemy fought. After my wife conceived, he had a miscarriage. But I thank God there was a program come that uh, took place here in the month of June, titled Enemy Submitted. And I came with my wife. After that program, the yoke would break, and my wife delivered a bouncy baby ball. Power! Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of the choosing. And I want to thank God also to that program. God granted me miracle visa like helping to travel to Angola and come back safely without any problem. Thank you, Father. 
chosen praise the Lord hallelujah uh, this is the testimony of what happened after our geo visitation in Angora 2018 title alive of the master there was uh, there was goods who were imported since 2014 and the pre and the government said they don't need to combo uh, or they don't need engine any any use engine they don't need it and uh, was to hold for five years but after our geo prayer the lord the ghost was of them last year are we really clapping our hands onto this great god clap your hands onto this god of chosen thank you father chosen praise the lord hallelujah and the second testimony is that uh, after that our geo visitation the country, the government were troubling strangers, deporting them. But after our geo prayer, since 2019, there's no more deportation. The president declared that all strangers should live free. Nobody should disturb them again. Power! Thank you, Father. Clap your hands unto God of the truth anywhere you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a lot of, a lot of testimony to give. If I begin to say what God should have done for me, before John chose him, there was a lot of untimely death in my family. But I remember one certain day in one of an IVG, I appear in my family, and God just said, Because you were chosen, nobody will die in this family. And that's the end of our family that's in my family. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. So I want to thank this God of choosing for all they have been doing in my life. I want if you are choosing, I want you to be happy. God of choosing answers prayer. So mm. I pray for our general overseer. Have my last. I pray that God give him more grace, more more power, more anointing. To win more so in the kingdom, and I pray for everyone of us and our family. Help us last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. I want us to rejoice by clapping our hands unto this great God of the chosen. Thank you, Father.